progresses is about small goals and you keep getting forward. You know, you, know, you don't become uh, Chandrasekhar Ghosh one day, you don't become Sachin Tendulkar in one day, you don't become an Ambani in one day, or you don't become an Narendra Modi in one day. You have to spend your life, time, days, weeks, months working towards it. And I think that's, that's the key to success. That, that if you decide that this is my job, this is my life, give everything you have for the rest of your life to be the best. I was to play the three chess matches where I went on to make a review at Lords after this. Uh, I did not know till morning that I was playing. Uh, it was raining heavily in Old Trafford, you know, young Sachin. He had just started opening in one day cricket. So as we were warming up and, and training, because it was so cold and the match got delayed because of rain, it rains a lot in Manchester and this was in the month of May. So it's the early part of the summer and there was a lot of rain. So as we were going around the ground, uh, warming up, I was told uh, I'm playing. And, uh, and obviously I was very excited uh, to play for India. Uh, and uh, Azal lost the toss. Azal was captain, he lost the toss and England put us in. It was so overcast and so cloudy and rainy. So there was a lot of con seeming conditions for the fast bowlers. And before I could put my pads on and get ready at number three, Sachin was out. He was out in the first over of Dominic Cox. So before I could put my head in place, think, overthink, think the right thing, think the wrong thing, I was inside. And sometimes it's good actually. Sometimes when you are straight pushed into the uh, into the job without giving too much thoughts about it, you actually react to situations. And, and all what I did that day was I just reacted to the ball coming out of the bowler's hand. Uh, I batted for a while. I got 46 as you saw, I should have gone, went, went on to get a 50. After playing the best fast bowlers and the best English bowlers, I got out to a part-time bowler in Grand Thorpe and that too down the leg side. But it gave me a lot of confidence, it gave me a lot of belief that I can actually play at that level. And then about three weeks later, I went on to play the test match in Lords and scored a 100 on debut. Uh, the great Pankaj Da, Pankaj Roy who played from the East and from Bengal. And then there was a long gap after that. Players came in, uh, played one or two matches and, and did not make a mark and then had to be replaced. So, I, I, would, be, I would be absolutely not honest if I say that, uh, you know, they believe that East lacked talent. East lacked talent at that level. You know, there were a lot of very good players in the first class level, the domestic level. But when it went to the next level, uh, it was, they were not strong enough to go and, and get a hundred. Uh, or, or play for a long period of time. Uh, see, those things did not bother me. Uh, you know, uh, because I, I never believe in the past, I never believe in history. Uh, I, I only believe in that particular moment and that particular day. For me, there was an opportunity. I had played a lot of cricket before that. I was on the tour of Australia in 91 and didn't play for four years after that before I, before I played at Lords. And to be precise, at the Old Trafford, the first clip you saw. Uh, so, you know, for me, it was living in that moment and I kept saying after that that I went on to play 113 test matches and 313 one-day matches for India. Uh, uh, only one of the three who played 100 tests and 300 one-days for India, the other two being Sachin and, and Rahul Dravid and I'm sure Virat will, will get past it uh, very, very soon. <coughs> so one of the three who played in, that, in the complete generation of Indian cricketers. So for me, uh, you know, I was just happy being there at Lords. You know, a great venue. We used to live right across the uh, across the footpath. In, with the hotel is called Danubius now. It used to be called the Holiday Inn when we when we were playing. And I used to walk across, have breakfast in the morning, and just walk across the road to get into the great venue. And I don't know whether you've seen a whether you've seen a game at Lords. Uh, it's fantastic. You know, it's iconic when you when you enter the game in the morning. And, and after that, I've gone back to play many a number of matches. Went back as captain, went back as commentator, went back as an administrator. So I could, I can see the history behind the crowd, how people come and enjoy it. It's an event. I got this hundred on a Saturday, so a Saturday at Lords is completely packed. There's not one seat empty because it's a holiday, it's a weekend in England, and people come and watch Test cricket. And England is still a place where Test cricket is alive. It was very much alive during our generation because there was no T20 and then obviously T20 cricket came in, the faster cricket came in and, and in many places test matches have started to take a back seat. But England, Lords, Oval are still the venues where test cricket is still watched and, and looked after. 
So I, I, I got a hundred, I was overnight adding on 27 and when you show these clips, I remember every shot. You know, and I can tell you, the last shot of the second day evening was the pull shot of Chris Lewis. And then when I came back next morning, I started my innings with that flick which went for four and then went on to bat till tea. So, after so many years, I still remember every innings of it. And, and, and I say to everyone that, you know, I went on to play so many matches for India after that, captained so many matches for India after that. But my mindset on that game was the best in my career. Because I did not look too far ahead. I did not, I did not look at the scoreboard. I just played every ball. I just played every ball and tried, and tried my best every ball. And you know, I, I, I performed a small ritual during the entire innings of 6-7 hours, hours I batted. I used to look to score every 10 runs. So when I took guard, my first target was let me get to 10. And when I got to 10, my next target was let me get to 20. Once I get to 20, I look to get to 30. Because it kept my concentration. It kept me focused because sometimes when you take guard and look and see I need to get 100, it's too far. Achievements, progresses is about small goals and keep getting forward. You know, you, know, you don't become uh, Chandrasekhar Ghosh one day, you don't become Sachin Tendulkar in one day, you don't become an Ambani in one day or you don't become an Narendra Modi in one day. You have to spend your life, time, days, weeks, months working towards it. And I think that's, that's the key to success. That, that if you decide that this is my job, this is my life, give everything you have for the rest of your life to be the best. And I think for me it was that day. And, 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 I, and I went on to play so many matches after that. You know, sometimes I've gone in with full of confidence. Sometimes I've gone in to back thinking where will the next run come from. Because that's what human mind is. You know, it's, it's never static. It wanders. It wanders, it reacts to the situation, it reacts to what pressure you are in, it reacts to what, what mindset you are in. So for me, after that I went on to play 500 games for India, captained up about 210 matches. But the mindset I had in that innings at Lords, I could not, I could not uh, reproduce it again.